everybody, welcome back. Um, I've got a design team project share, to share with you guys today. This is um, for Tracy Fox, who is Love Junk Journals on Etsy. I'm sure you guys all are familiar with Tracy. Um, she's got some beautiful kits, and this one I've combined a, a couple, but primarily it's the um, Silhouettes kit. But what I'm going to do is in the description box below, I'll name... Um, there's probably three or four kits that I've got uh, various images from. And then I'm also going to link the tutorial on how to make one of these yourself. Because I did this, so oh gosh, probably two years ago. So um, if you're interested and like it, you know, it's a nice, fun, you know, craft um, that you can sit and do. And it doesn't take a lot of time. So um, if you need a break from journal making, it's, these are great to make. Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, it is a tag, kind of like a little tag folio, I guess. Um, on the front here, I've just done a lot of layering, and you can see, recognize the Tim Holtz um, metal piece. But there's <coughs> a bit of fab, you know, kind of like a net fabric, some cardboard, and then it's all been built up on the silhouette uh, tag that I've cut out. So if you open it up, um, there's a couple of things here. I've got a little flip here that goes over, and then um, you'll see on the back. This is the back side of it. So let's just get started here. That's the front. Here I've made a couple of little flaps that open up, and I kept these blank because I thought it would be really nice to do some journaling. And the same with this one. So a couple of journal spots, and then I've included um, several little hand, hand stamped tags so you can do some journaling on the back of those as well. But I love the images. Um, the silhouette kit is just, um, it's a beautiful background kit to um, then embellish with, you know, on top and layer. And there's a couple more tags. And these are part of the wildlife um, tea cards that Tracy's got. I love those. <laughs> there are some really gorgeous images on that. So I've just made a little, a little tuck here that you can put the, um, the tag back in to hold that closed. And then I did a bit of uh, layering there. There we go. So you can see, I'll show you up close, you can see. It's a lot of uh, dimension to these. Over here, um, just other little bits and pieces. Um, this is from Nikki Adigan, Musings by Nikki. She's got a um, Etsy shop as well, but um, these are really nice little, I made it into a tag. You can use them as um, tearing strips, but I printed it on cardstock. And then back here, I've got a big tag. So these are just tucked in and another little stamped tag. And this is a tea card from Tracy's shop. And these um, journal cards are also in a kit from Tracy's shop. And then over here, uh, again, I cut out another one, the nature. I think that's beautiful. And just tucked it in there and just other little tags and places. So even though it's small, there's still a lot of writing space on that. And then on the back, this is what we've got back here. A little tuck spot there. Another um, little tag. And then I just thought that kind of coordinated nicely. And then here, this is another uh, journal card I've got. And just various things from my stash. And then this is Tracy's. Uh, tea card from her shop as well. And then over here I've just done two tiny t uh, little pockets, but aren't these beautiful? These are all part of that wildlife tea card set. So they are just perfect for um, any autumn journals that, that you might be creating. Another little journal card there, and then another tag, and this is another one of Tracy's tea cards. So 
So let's turn it back over and this is how it folds up. So I'm really happy to have had the chance to make that and I've got a couple more planned with different um, uh, papers from my stash but I'm, I'm, I've got, you know, I just love to do this kind of project when when you're just kind of burnt out on journals and you need to just um, do something that's quick and easy but um, still it's it's just I'm really happy with how it's come out so anyways guys I'll put the link below to the tutorial to show you how to do that and I will link below all the kits that I've used from Tracy's shop and you guys check her out and I will be back uh, hopefully very soon and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.